Oké, okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Kom je ze alle koholoyim la yahu ba shim yahu shai ba hashem er kaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Now by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the akim and akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba shim yahu shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. New Shabbat, uh, you know, just coming out of the other one, going into the new one, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday sundown to Wednesday sundown for the rest of this month. And, um, you know, hey, we're going to ride it out. But um, I was just sitting and thinking, meditating, and, you know, spirit just hit me like, you know, um, and it's something that I thought, you know, that that have come up in my spirit before about Esau not wanting us to know this true. But why doesn't he want us to know this truth when the benefits of it is 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 far better for us as a people that they really claim that they care about us? Because they'll tell you, oh, yeah, we love you. You know, um, equality of uh, exclusiveness and all this other shit. But when we're coming out and doing these lessons and coming out on the highways and byways and telling our people, hey, bro, don't you know, you, you, you should stop smoking. You have to stop smoking. That's that's beneficial to a brother's health or a sister's health. Why wouldn't they want you to be healthier? Look, sister, hey, um, um, and brothers, you know, stop with the abortions, man. Brother, stop, you know, pushing the woman to have the abortion. Women, stop having the abortions. Wouldn't that help us grow as a people? Why don't they want that? Wouldn't that be good towards us? Wouldn't that be good for us as a people? Right? Look, brother, stop, um, you know, committing adultery. That you know that a lot of and most of the Ten Commandments, I mean, well, all the Ten Commandments really will cut down on crime drastically in the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American neighborhoods. Why don't they want that? Even if, we're, say, for instance, they say, "Well, you know what? Those are not the Hebrew Israelites, but it's helping them." Even if they was just you know saying them, them niggas is delusional as hell, but it's actually helping them. We should. Let, let them just do that if it's going to make them better. If, they, if they're going to, you know, even they'll let, you know, they'll let ki kids dream, you know. Oh, it's just a dream. You know, he's it's making him, you know, his behavior patterns are better. That's let him roll with it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, and, and the list goes on and on. Jake not eating no pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Wouldn't that help our people to be more healthier? See, why wouldn't they want that? Even like I said, even if they saying oh, they, they really don't know no better. They think that they're Hebrew Israelites, but they stop smoking. They've stopped having abortions. They've stopped eating um, unhealthy foods. They've stopped um, robbing. They've stopped stealing. They've stopped killing each other. You know why they don't want that? Because Esau Edom is a damn devil, man. <laughs> he's the devil and he's a complete enemy of us, man. The scriptures talks about he's an enemy. Jacob and Esau fighting in the womb of Rebekah. From way back, man, this man will never promote to you anything that's good it, it, because you know what? He doesn't make any money. If you were to say if our people were to stop eating pork, the pork industry would pretty much flatten. If our people were to stop driving through these drive throughs at McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Pizza Hut and all these different places like that, those places will plummet. If Jake was to stop smoking. Your, your black and miles, your fucking new ports, all these cigarette hookups, um, um, your backwoods, the roll up um, 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 instruments, all those all those things would go out of business. If Jake was just drinking moderately, you know, a lot of those businesses would, would, would go out of business. You see, if Jake was to stop going out and just purchasing all this bullshit like Jordans and, you know, unnecessary clothing, unnecessary jewels and, you know, just having some self-control. Esau shit would plummet, man. A lot of this stuff would plummet. It would it would change overnight. Your your criminal justice system, the jails would damn near be empty. There wouldn't be no need for as many lawyers as they have. There wouldn't be no need for no, as many judges as they have. All these courthouses, all these prisons that they build. You see, so you have to you know really ask yourself why won't why won't they even promote that? Why won't they say oh, I applaud you guys? You guys are doing a good thing. But the thing that they really don't like about it is, is 
Well, of course they don't like you doing well. That's for damn sure. Esau don't want you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. They don't want you doing well at all. They want to keep you in sin. And I'm going to go off into this in the book of Judith. That's what came to mind. This man doesn't want you to come up. He doesn't want you to do good because he makes money off your downfall. He makes money off you going to the doctor. He makes money off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real, for real. If they really cared about you, why would they, you know, they, they're claiming that you're free, but why, why do they tax you like how they tax you? They won't give you any reparations for what they've done to you as a people. Right? So he's just got, he, he you know, we're really, he, he, he really just has us, man. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is coming to get us out of these people's hands soon, man. I mean, it, it's common sense that, okay, those guys, uh, like I said again, though, the main thing that they really don't like is, us thinking kingdom minded. That's for one. Us thinking kingdom minded would mean that we would have to look at them as peasants, man. Which they are. No, they can't walk with their heads held high. We're used, we, we beating them into subjection of them holding their heads down. They don't want that, man. You, you have to really realize the type of enemy that you're dealing with. Last thing they want is for you, you our people to get it together. And really, the last thing they want is for us to call on the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. So let me get this real quick, because, you know, the book of Judith came to mind in the Apocrypha. And um, this is where this general basically. Uh, let me let me get the context in verse one, Judith, Judith five, verse one. Then was it declared to Hall of Fairness the chief captain of the army of Assur, that the children of Israel had prepared for war and had shut up the passages of the hill country and had fortified all the tops of the high hills and had laid impediments in the champion countries, wherewith he was very angry and called all, his, all the princes of Moab, that, that would be your so-called Chinese today, and the captains of Ammon, that would be your so-called Japanese today, and all the governors of the seacoast. So see, the, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese, um, um, Ishmael. In the book of Psalms, um, chapter 83, it gives you all the Lord's enemies. Those people are our enemies to this very day. Those are the ones that's in our neighborhoods. Selling you all the things that I just named off. They're the ones with the Planned Parenthoods. They're the ones that's selling you, um, 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 you know, the women, the fake ass, or, or selling the women the weave, the wigs, the eyelashes. They're the ones that's selling our, our, our people the, the bullshit ass fast food, the fucked up cuts of meats and fruits and vegetables at the supermarkets. They're the ones that's in our neighborhoods that own everything. They don't want us to get right. They're the ones that own the pill companies. They're the ones that own, you know, just, you know, just everything from anything from just showering. You need damn soap. You need um, shampoo. You need draw socks. That's why the scripture goes off into we will um, have to go to our enemies for want of all things. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's one of the curses. So these people are in our neighborhoods. And if we're not in the situation that we're in, they don't make money. So they prefer you stay where you are. If you own the banks, if you own the mechanic shops, if you own the gas stations, if you own the beauty supply stores, where does that leave them? If you own the restaurants, where does that leave them? That leaves them broke and having to go back to their country and, and, <laughs> and probably be under oppression from their own people. They love it here in these Americas and these different um, countries and stuff like that because they, they, they make trillions of dollars off of us, man, as a people. But anyway... It says, verse three, and he said unto them, tell me now, ye sons of Canaan. These are the so-called Africans, Hamites. They're also named in the book of Psalms, chapter 83. All these are our enemies because we're not Hamites. We're not Africans. Everyone with melanin is not the same people. That's something that Esau, the so-called white man, has pushed, that we're Africans. That's why niggas running around, you know, with their fists in the air, you know, talking about the red the black the green you know <laughs> remember that song back in the days uh but anyway you know got jake out here thinking that you know they're, they're africans and they're not we're we're not hamites we're shemites we come from abraham isaac and jacob man we are israelites from our respective tribes okay but it says 
And he said unto them, Tell me now, ye sons of Canaan, who this people is that dwelleth in the hill country, and what are the cities that they inhabit, and what is the multitude of their army, and wherein is their power and strength, and what king is set over them, or captain of their armies? And why have they determined not to come and meet me more than all the inhabitants of the West? Because we, you know, hey, we had our Lord. We was calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Then said Akor, if I'm pronouncing his name right, Salakia, captain of all the sons of Ammon. So this would have been a so-called Japanese, Japanese person. Let me let let my Lord now hear a word from the mouth of thy servant. And I will declare unto thee the truth concerning the people which dwelleth near thee and inhabiteth, inhabiteth the hill countries and shall no lie come out of my mouth and thy and shall no lie come out of the mouth of thy servant. This people are descended of the Chaldeans because, you know, if you go up into the story of where, you know, um, Abraham actually came from, you know, before we were being called, you know, um, Israelites. But we were being called. Hebrew, uh, we were Hebrews, though, before, you know, um, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, Israel, the land, the, the country that Abraham was called from when the Lord first called him. That would be from that land of, um, you know, the Chaldeans. Right. And they sounded. Heretofore. Salakia and they sojourned and they sojourned or they you know basically traveled or um that was their place of dwelling so to speak here to four in Mesopotamia because they would not follow the gods of their fathers which were in the land of Chaldea see remember Abraham he you know his father father um follow other uh big, big ass spider damn Salakia y'all I think one of them shits bit me the other night. So lucky. Yeah, we about to have a big ass storm. They said it's supposed to be like hell sized coconut falling <laughs> in certain areas. You know, um, I don't think it's going to hit our area, but it has been raining. Anyway, so lucky for that. Um, it says in a soldier, verse seven again, and a soldier here too in, in Mesopotamia because they would not follow the gods of their fathers, which were in the land of Chaldea. So again, like I said, that's where Abraham was called out of his father's house. That's where he, the Lord told Abraham, leave your father's house and go, you know, to this particular area. And I'm going to give you all this land, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You go off into the story because our forefather, you know, um, Abraham's father, he was into a lot of um, idol worship. OK, so it says. For they left the way of their ancestors and worshiped the God of heaven and the God whom they knew. So they cast them out from the face of their gods and they fled into Mesopotamia and sojourned there many days. Then their God commanded them to depart from, from the place where they sojourned and to go into the land of Canaan, where they dwelt and, and, were, and were increased with gold and silver and with very much cattle. But when a famine covered all the land of Canaan, they went down into Egypt and sojourned there while they were nourished and became there a great multitude so that one could not number them, number their nation, Salakia. Therefore, the king of Egypt. Now, this is all in the um, Old Testament. This is I'm reading from the Apocrypha, but this is all in the Old Testament as far as our people coming out of Egypt, you know, with Pharaoh and all that other stuff. The, the Red Sea was parted. You know, the Lord sent Moses and Aaron in, done all these miraculous um, miracles, all the plagues. And, 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 and then we went into the land of Canaan, basically the land of milk and honey after the, you know, the wilderness being in the wilderness for 40 years, so to speak. Right. So this history is here. OK, so it says. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and made them slaves. Then they cried unto the God unto their God. And he smote all the land of Egypt with innumerable plagues. So the Egyptians cast them out of their sight and God dried the Red Sea before them and brought them to Mount Sinai and Cades barn and cast forth all that dwelt in the wilderness. So they dwelt in the land of the Amorites and they destroyed by their strength all of them as barn and passing over Jordan. They possessed all the hill country. So this was that land, man. And they cast forth before them the Canaanites, the, the Pharisees, the Jebusites, and the Shechemites, 
and all the jergasites. I know it's spelled differently in um, the actual Old Testament 66 books. And they dwell in that country many days. Now, he's going to go off into why, you know, basically the so-called white man in all these different countries or these different nations. The reason as to why they really want us to be in sin. They want us to be, um, um, you know, adulterous. They want us to be robbers, killers, stealers. They want us to eat the abominable fools. They basically want us to go against everything that the Lord told us not to do. That's Esau. That shows you how wicked this man is. He actually promotes the shit. So let's go on, go on off into it. Verse 17. And while they sin not before their God. See, this is the point. And while they sin is not before their God, they prospered. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. See? This is why they want to keep us in iniquity, in sin, because they know that the Lord will turn his back on us and depart from us. So that keeps us. That's why this man turning up. This is why he's turning up with all this A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit amongst our people. The every damn pizza commercial you see has got bacon or damn baconator or Jake biting into a damn big ass lobster or some stupid shit. Eating, you know, just eating all kinds of abominable foods. Got up, you know, um, promoting us and using us as the mascot for the LGBTQ. The children are all out of hand. The women are all out of order. We don't have no. You, you, see, this is why this man done that, because he understands that as long as we can keep them in sin. This has been something that they've been doing for a long time. See, Esau, no. Our people are the ones that are just ignorant when it straight comes down to the reason why, you know, we're in the situation that we're in. Esau know how to keep us here. But see, the Lord is starting to flip that and turn that around. That's why he's going to come down with that great wrath. That's why you see so much is going on right now with Esau just doing all kinds of weirdo shit. He's trying to hang on to his kingdom because we're coming back to our Lord. We're calling on Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And it is flipping this world upside down and he can't fucking take it, man. Right. Let me get that verse again. Verse 17. And, wh and whilst they sin not before their God, they prospered. Because the God that hated the iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way, see, here you go. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives. That's why we're in America right now and all these other different places and, and led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemies. But now are they returned to their God. See? And are come up from the plate from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now therefore, my Lord, check it, check out what he's about to say. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their, their Lord defend them and their God be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. And that's why Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, does not want you to stop smoking cigarettes. He does not want you to stop committing adultery. He does not want you to stop robbing, stealing. He does not want you to stop smoking crack. He don't want you to stop uh, uh, any any wicked shit that's going on. The gang bang, shoot em ups, the, the world star hip hop shit that you see, uh, uh, your Cardi B's, your, your, your sexy reds, your, you know, all this different shit going on. All this wickedness that you see. The so-called white man, he orchestrates that shit and he gives it to you on a platter. He, he, he actually pays our people to do certain things, especially with this music in these movies. That music is number one. All these tattoos on the NBA players, you know, they, 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 they do all that for a reason. They'll give you an NBA 2K game and tell you to play damn 2K all day and listen to some wicked ass music and, and, and the fucking graphics is so so um, 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 enhanced with a nigga with tattoos on him. <laughs> you know, it's just it's, and then they might even I mean, this man is, is seriously he knows how to get you. He understands. Look, and we can just keep them in sin. All those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 are going to overtake them. That's what the scripture says. 
The Lord is going to turn his back on them. Those curses are going to overtake them. We got them. There's no way out. They can't get out. We got them as long as we can keep them in sin. It's the perfect plan, bro. But see, this is why, again, he hates so much that the children of Israel are waking up. Because what would be so wrong with Jake not smoking? Don't you think that the as, as a government, as a, as a citizen of the United States, don't you think that they would want you to be healthy? But no, they promote the damn menthol cigarette in your neighborhood. You see, think about all that. Even 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 as far as the clothing, you know, the mixed fabrics, all that stuff, man. Them putting, you know, pork and all kinds of shit that's not supposed to have pork in it. That's like, you know, I remember when I first came into the true, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get these sausages. They all beef on the damn package and say 100 percent beef. Couldn't find out, though, the shit is in a pork casing. Why? You got you advertising, so lucky you advertising on 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 a, on a package that is one hundred percent beef, but you gotta read the small letters that it's in a pork casing. So now you thinking that you eating beef, which I had to repent for that because if I fell for it at first, like now what the fuck, you know, I was pissed, man. I was pissed. I actually done a lesson on um um uh, what's that of uh, the Jiffy cornbread. You got to get the Jiffy cornbread that with the green stripe across the top that says I'm vegetarian. Other than that, you're eating fucking pork, man, in, in the regular one. Never knew that. But see, he does shit like that. He slips that shit into the, the, um, the, the you know, candy, you know, just, you know, he's just doing weird shit. And that's why it's so important to pray to you. How about Shimmy outside for, um, you know, mercy, man. And, 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 you know, because. And to repent for sins that we unknowingly commit. Because a lot of this shit, man, we don't even know what's going on. This man can have pork juice running through the damn water. You know? It wouldn't surprise me if, it, if this man got, you know, um, 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 pork juice in the damn... <laughs> a hint of pork juice in, in bottled waters, man, or whatever. You, you know, Esau, he gets down like that. He's a, he's a real foul, vile bastard, man. But this is the reason. I was just sitting and meditating. I'm like, yeah, you know, Esau, man... You think that he wants you to not commit um, 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 adultery or, um, um, you know, aborting the children. You know how many of our children, you know how large of a people we will be if, if there was no abortion? You think that he would go hardcore since he's a Christian nation. He, he claims to be this Christian. Anyone that commits that particular hookup, if you you think that he would say, hey, all right, you commit, um, you, you're going to get an abortion, you forfeit your life then. Put some fear and some scare into our, our our women to keep them from doing that shit. It, it would at least save millions of our, our children since, you know, um the, the Roe versus Wade bullshit. You know how that, that's a serious crime, man, to the Lord. I mean, how about Shimmy outside, man, and abortion? That's serious. That's serious. A lot of our women, uh, two thirds, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of um, the two thirds going to be women. And, and, and majority of those two thirds are going to be women that have, have killed multiple babies. To go on top of other shit. That iniquity. That word iniquity is real serious, man, because it goes beyond sin. It's like you got if you're a 20 year old or 30 year old. You've been stacking sins for a couple of decades, basically. You know what kind of ass woman comes that that's like you got a kid, you keep got it, you know, you just you just, you know, you just letting them slide with the shit, you know. You telling them no. Cut that shit out. Stop it. Cut that out. Then eventually it just riles up to a point where they catch you on that bad day and you just get at them. To the point of you feeling sorry about how you got at them. You just lost it. <laughs> but the Lord is about to get down out here, man, and it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Like seriously, man. And this is what Esau wants because he know that his ass is doomed by him being doomed that he wants to take you down with him. He's like, hey, shit, if I can't have it, you can't either. This this man's mindset. This is the thoughts that Esau had. So keep this in mind right here. Keep this in mind. This 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 guy gave the whole rundown to um that that, that captain and told him straight up. Look, man, 
If we can get them to fuck up, we got them. But if we can't, if they, if they, if they good with they got, we better step away, man, and leave that alone because he's gonna make a, a a real show of us. Esau understands that, so you understand it as well. So that's why it's so important to always repent to you. I, re you, you should be repenting every day. We're not out here, you know, knowingly doing shit that we know for sure we don't have no business doing according to the scriptures. But there are things that we commit on a day to day basis where we need that mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai, yeah, he done the thing, but still it's best you get up and you pray to Yahweh for mercy, man. That, you know, asking for forgiveness of sin of things that you unknowingly committed or done. Because Esau, man, he got to set up where you can be fucking up and, and he, he, he sets it up where you fuck up and you don't even know. That's how vicious this motherfucker is, man. But he understands, again, don't think the elite don't understand as to what's going on, man, with us. They know what's up, man. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Shalom.